I have to ask you about this. So a few games later, you played Leeds at home, which is the now kind of infamous game where Ali Dia came on. What do you remember about that? So when you were playing central defence and then he comes on to replace Matt Letizier, how long did it take you to know that, hang on, something's not, not quite right here? Well, I think uh, his, uh, his second touch... Uh, obviously, it was a tackle. I think <laughs> I think uh, we all knew pretty quickly with his movements, with uh, with everything, uh, uh, his adjustment to 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 the ball or on the pitch. He he uh, was like fish up in a tree. It it, it it didn't fit. But obviously, it was such a such a surreal feeling, all of it, uh, because obviously he came in. We had so big expectations of of uh, him being a sort of relative or a nephew of George Vera. So uh, it was a big piece in the Daily Echo uh, on the match day on him being a fantastic talent. So we've had big expectations. Started on the bench um, and and came on. <laughs> Uh, for for Matthew uh, and uh, we we saw quickly that uh, obviously this is uh, this is completely wrong and uh, it's not very often you get subbed uh, after after coming on. But the strange thing was we never saw him again. Uh, he was not in the dressing room. Uh, he was not to be seen uh, ever again. It's a very uh, surreal uh, moment in in, in football uh, for Southampton Football Club. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to hear more of our podcasts, please click on the red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand side. Thank you.